So obviously, you know, people are familiar with this title, uh, but there's a new take on it. What can you say about uh, this this new approach to frequency in this series? Well, the most glaring difference is that uh, in the movie, the the son is a boy, yes. and in this one, it's a girl, it's a daughter. Um, but from there, we do do a lot of throwback to the movie and a lot of references to things that they establish or bring up uh, in terms of storylines and where to go, where you know, where there's a villain, where there's a killer. Um, there's so many different things going on in the pilot and in the movie. That's why the movie was so rich. You know, you watch two hours of it and it blows by because there's so much to it. I think in the TV show, we can slow it down for a little bit and really pursue every little bit that they set up in the film and then add to it with, with some stuff of our own, with some of the other new characters that we added. Um, some are inspiration from the movie, like best friends, love interests, and those things. But those we sort of took more liberty with. Mm -hmm. I mean, changing me to a girl is, is taking liberty, but right. um, yeah, it should be interesting to explore those characters as well and uh, see how their lives are affected by us altering the past. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, uh, how is she sort of dealing with what's happening? Is she uh, skeptical that it's even really happening at first? Of course. I think we're trying to ground this in reality as much as possible, and anybody would find it hard to believe that it's actually happening. You want tangible proof. The, the character I play, Raimi, is very type A, and she's a cop, and she's used to evidence and proof, and she doesn't believe it till she sees it with her eyes. Like, believing out of thin air is very difficult for her. Um, she's very pragmatic. So she doesn't believe it. It takes a very long time for her to really grasp it. But sometimes, deep down in your, in your gut, you might have hope. And you might be like, well, if it is real, if it is true, is there any possible way this, this could be real and I could be talking to somebody that I really, really, really want to be able to, to share my feelings with? Um, I think it allows her the, the ability to make the leap and to trust and, and, to, um, and, and to go with this communication to, to, to her father and the connection. And, have to, to the whole storyline of the show, yeah. Lastly, I have to ask, we haven't seen uh, Golden Glider in a little while. You're going to be a little busy, but I think she might be able to pop up. There's a few different shows at this point she can pop up on. I don't see why not. Yeah. I didn't even get my gun last time. <laughs> I want my gun back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love that show. I love those people over there. I always have such a blast when I do it. Might be a little bit busy being uh, being a cop and uh, talking to my father, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I mean, she's the best. I love that character.